see, it is uh, April 30th today, a Saturday. We're down at Redbud Park in the city of Clear Lake. A couple of fish went out on the dock enjoying the morning and a little light fog on the lake. And oops, what do we have here? <laughs> Looks like Jack has a new airplane oh, and a float morning. plane at that. <laughs> yeah. Well, talk a little bit about the plane, Jack, and and um, what is it? And uh, okay, this is a this is a Mall uh, M7, and it's I, I guess it's kind of like a, a, a more modern replacement for the for the Beaver. You, they use this primarily up in Alaska, most of the uh, most of the folks, and uh, and it's uh, it's got a big, a large cargo area in it. When you right behind the pilot. Uh, looking at this thing, uh, it, uh, they were able to uh, take uh, uh, patients and, and carry them, uh, people that, uh, that need hospitalization, carry mm -hmm. them for okay, the yeah. remote sites. And so it's, uh, it, was and it looks like it was a pretty good off, uh, off a, a paved runway kind of an airplane, like, much like the Beaver was, a rough, yeah. a rough airstrip kind of an airplane or on floats. Yeah, well, and cool. So this, uh, yeah, this had the big heavy wheels, like uh, yeah. stall type air, aircraft. Yeah, tund tundra tires, I think they call those, yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. So today will be the maiden flight on floats? Maiden flight on floats. All right, yeah, we're looking forward to it. So, uh, any any issues with assembly? You find anything you fixed you didn't like, you had to do a little better, or was it pretty straightforward? Yeah, this, uh, the connection, uh, the electronic connections in the wings and the fuselage were a mess. Uh, they put two different connectors in there for the lights. And I, had, they, I had about an inch clearance on the wires, and I had to re-solder different connectors in there. Oh, okay, okay. And they don't give you enough room to, to stuff the wires back in. Yeah. But, uh, it's it's working good now. Yeah, sometimes you wonder if the guys who engineer these models, if they ever build them and fly them and and really get it figured out. Yeah, that's, or they just throw it out there and let us let us deal with it. <laughs> okay, well I guess that's it for now. Then Jack, let's wander on out and uh, well, let's see. We got a couple other guys over here. Uh, what's your name, young man? What's your name, Graybird? Charlie. Charlie. <laughs> A red-tailed Charlie, all right. This is Scott Clinton's bird. Goes with him everywhere. <laughs> and Scott has a... Comes around and... I don't know what that is, but he's got a float plane in here. And then uh, he has a, a recovery vessel up here in case something dies out in the water. And uh, rather than swimming out for it, we'll run that thing out and get it. That's one of the issues with float planes, you need some way to get them if they lose power out in the water, and, and uh, you need to uh, rescue them. All right, we'll uh, go down here with Jack and wherever he went, there he goes. Okay, I'll do a little video as I'm walking out here to make you seasick at the moving dock. Nice set of docks here at the park. Um, Don's going to give Jack a hand with the lifting in, lifting out processes there. It's kind of a tall dock to get down on your knees and set it in water. So he's, Jack's hooking up the batteries and getting ready to power up the airplane. A beautiful morning for it, huh? Just a little light breeze to break her off the floats. That breeze is nice. It's coming right at us. All right, battery's hooked up. He'll do a control check, make sure everything's working the right way, and put her in a crick. All in 
Sarah. That's the baby. Looks good to me. Well, you're the only one that needs to be satisfied with that is the pilot. So it looks good to you, it looks good to us. Okay, heat up the motor now and get ready to launch it. That's one thing with electric electric, electric powered things, you need to be careful that uh, your hand isn't in harm's way when you power things up because they've been known to come on kind of by themselves. So anyway. So, we ready there, Pilot Jack? So, All right. wiggle everything. So this is Jack's Mall M7. <clears throat> okay. Okay, pilot setting an airplane in the water. Taxi test, make sure everything works. I'm ready. And she's flying, all right. Well, like I say, that's what you have a rescue boat for, a rescue vehicle of some sort. Will it taxi at all? Well, your taxi looks like, huh? Well, at least we don't have to go out in that fog. Yeah, we're going to have to watch that fog. It might drop in there pretty... Hell, where the hell is it going? Oh, there it is. Yeah. When you bring it in, uh, you put it on the dock and then you know run it to full power. See what see what happens from right. shut off to full power, and, right. and then do the same with a new battery. And if it works better with a new battery, then I'd fly it. Yeah. Huh. For some reason, Jack lost power shortly after takeoff. Uh, hey, what you pay for it, man? While the motor didn't stop, it um, it. Um, lost power and he had to land it and which was a good landing and now what he's going to do is bring it in and test the battery see what the voltage is and put a new battery in it and see if uh, that'll fix it so the first test flight was okay as far as the flying part, but it lost power for some reason, so we need to sort that out. Okay, here we are. As you can see, well see, that we have the wheels back on this mall, and uh, had it rather could have been a disaster out at uh, Clear Lake, but fortunately I was able to land this uh, rascal, and the power came back on. And so I was able to get it into the dock. Well, I have a new float, new power system now. This is a uh, put a three-bladed prop on this thing, and actually it's from a flight line P38, and the motor is from a flight line uh, F8F Bearcat. And so between the two of them, uh, we should uh, we should have a, a little bit better power system happening. The, uh, the reason I put the new system was that uh, what came with this from E-Flight 
was a 1,050 uh, kV motor, which uh, unfortunately uh, was a little bit higher in the amps, and the, 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 the ESC wanted to uh, wanted to take care of it, so it cut out in mid-flight, and that's why we had the had the power loss at the lake. So now today, we're going to go out to the field and uh, out to the runway, and we're going to try this new system. See how everything works good? We'll, uh, we'll buddy up and get on out to the lake again and try the system with the floats. All right. We're out here at the J. Carey Field, home of the Clear Lake Modelers Club, and Jack Tatum is preparing to fly the mall. I don't think so. You better back that up. Cut. Take two. Okay, we're out here at J. Carey Field, home of the Clear Lake Modelers Club. And Jack Tatum is getting ready to fly his mall. Nice flight, Jack. All right. All right. Good job. <laughs> Thank you very much, with, uh, Tom. I'm... With out of the field. Okay. So okay. So all we have to do is here we are. Do the flight. Okay. Uh, uh, we uh, we went out to the field. And we flew it off of, off of the with the landing gear. Okay. And, uh, and so this morning we're just going to do the floats. Okay. Yeah. So and this is a mall. Mall M7. And like Jack mentioned, he's flown it uh, once off the water. Had an ESC issue. A ESC uh, shut down. 
It was, uh, it was actually overloaded when he got home and checked it. And um, and since then he changed the ESC and the prop, checked it with the meter and everything is good. And he's flown it once as a land plane. Now he's back to the uh, get a good flight as a as a seaplane. All right. I'll wait he runs through all his checks or I'll be quiet so I don't interrupt him. And one of the worst things you can do is talk to somebody when he's getting set up to fly because then they forget to do something and they crash. So we don't do that. Oh, wait, he's all done, ready to roll there. So it is, uh, let's see, it is, uh, Thursday, April 18th, we're recording, and we are on Clear Lake, in the city of Clear Lake, in Lake County, California, and this is Jack's new mall, uh, the second flight off the water, first flight he found out that the either something wrong with the ESC or something. Uh, anyway, it, 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 it shut down because it was uh, over-amped. It was drawing too many amps. And he's since put a much larger ESC in. He's flown the plane, has a land plane at our flying field. Everything worked well. So this will be her, not her maiden flight, but hopefully the, the first good complete maiden flight on the water here in Clear Lake. So, and Jack is ready to roll. Small M7. There he is. Mount Canocti in the background looks nice. Oh, yeah. Got off the water nice and easy, Jack. Let your heart rate settle down. And... Yeah, slow flyer and get all good and used to it. it flies good, looks like, huh? What I can see in the video, she's flying very well. Honkers coming in. Be nice if I get those in the background, but I don't want to get off the plane. I'll never find it again. See all the Canadian geese in the background making noise, and but, huh? Okay. All right. Good job, Jack. Good flight on the mall. And when you get out of the water, Jack, and you're all unplugged and everything, uh, hold it up with a big grin and I'll take a picture with my phone. There you have it. 
the first good water flight of Jack's new mall. You hold it up and I'll get some video first and then all right. Well, what do you think? Hey, huh? that was fun. <laughs> that was fun. Let me fade out here.